This month is our month of case studies. And the theme of today's is coachability. One of my favorite words. We're going to welcome Purple Patch athlete David Farside to the show. Now, David recently had a breakthrough personal performance at Ironman Coeur d'Alene. That's a wonderful little town based right in the heart of Idaho. And in that race, he qualified for the Ironman World Championships, which are this September in Nice for the male athletes. But it isn't the result that really demands our attention here. I work with David on a one-to-one basis, and I believe that he is a prime example of our word of the day, coachability. Now, in today's discussion, I want you to listen to David's mindset around coaching, how he views the role of sport across all arenas of life, and most importantly, how he's managed to successfully apply the mindset and strategies into real life work problems. And of course, how he applied his mindset and strategies that we try to enforce during the coaching process into race day. You see, his Ironman race day in Coeur d'Alene was not, quote, the perfect race. In fact, it was full of adversity and little setbacks that for many athletes would just lead them into the gutter of despair. But during the race, he successfully deployed his lessons from coaching and it impacted the result in a major, major way. And of course, that result was positive. So I think that there are a lot of lessons here and a great example that we're going to unpack in this case study around how to optimize your coaching relationship, whoever your coach is. But who is David? Well, he's a father of two and a husband. He's a partner of Mainsail, which is a software-focused private equity investment firm. And he's only been doing triathlon since 2019. His background in sports is purely team sports as a youth. And I think that his story is really valuable, highly educational, and I think will inspire many of you folks to get cracking on your own performance journey. And that really excites me. 